coronavirus. Work from home. Salutations, Scottius Famius. So today we have a big, massive bag of vintage thrift finds today. We have a lot of vintage t-shirts. Little side note, t-shirts are my favorite thing to thrift ever. Today's pickups is gonna be like a little bit light just because charity shops have been dead lately in my area. So, I mean, to be fair, I have been really picky as well, but we filtered out all of the nonsense and we've got only the good, good today. I'm not gonna long out the intro anymore. Let's just jump into the t-shirts. Boom. First t-shirt of the day, 1990, Michael Jackson, King of Pop, dangerous t-shirt. This one is a banger. Found this in a charity shop for like £3.50. Looked it up on eBay, you can get anywhere between 30 to £100 for this. Printed on Hanes, single stitch, which is always a good sign. The print on the front is flawless, I absolutely love it. And we've got a little bit of a back print as well. King of Pop, Michael Jackson, dangerous. Very, very happy with this pickup. Put it on the Depop page already, did you say? Madness. Next up, we've got a 1998 Fruit of the Loom South Carolina t-shirt. How do I know it's 1998? You can date Fruit of the Loom tags fairly well. They keep changing them every couple of years. So I use a handy little chart as reference. Low key essential thrifting resource there, by the way. South Carolina graphic at the front. It's not like a, oh my God, such a mad t-shirt but you know you're too deep into vintage when you buy t-shirts literally just because of the tags low-key wavy piece south carolina t-shirt oh my god next up we have a 2004 2005 juventus away jersey i love the old school sky sports sponsorship in the middle there like i remember that logo as a kid it's mental old football shirts are definitely underrated if you ever see an old football shirt in a charity shop get it they can go anywhere from 30 to 100 pounds depending and what team it is and what era, you know, all the standard vintage stuff. Loving the design of the jersey. It's got a little bit of cracking as well, just adds character. Say no more, fam, it's a wavy shirt. Next up, we have that Stoozy number four black t-shirt. Yes, I say Stoozy because what? That's the correct way to say it. Crazy, simple design at the front. Stoozy number four. It's kind of got like a half camouflage, half checkerboard thing going on. Original skaters and seen kids unite. A very, very wavy t-shirt. Simplistic in design, hold tight the Stoozy. Next up, we have something that isn't hype, but I just love the graphic on the front of it. We've got this vintage Alaska t-shirt printed on Anvil. You've got all of these little wolves there and you've got like Alaska there, so you know where all the animals are from, I suppose. You've got wolves, polar bears, eagles, penguins, seals, whales, fam. If you don't like this t-shirt, then you're an enemy against nature. Circa 2000 South Park t-shirt. Kenny on the front with his classic um, 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 um. The graphic is a little bit battered, but I think again, adds to the character. Kenny on the front, no business on the back. A staple in any adult cartoon viewing. Oh my God, thank you, Kenny. Now, I thought I would never see the day when I would pick up another beard t-shirt. I used to pick these up all the time, then suddenly they just all went away. So here we have a Calic beard t-shirt. Very, very small at the front there. I don't think you can really see what's going on, but let's have a look at the back. Oh look, now you see what's going on. Premium quality beer of the Bahamas. Buy this shirt and pretend you're a massive beer bottle. Absolute madness, let's just fold you nicely. Next up, we've got that vintage Calvin Klein jeans t-shirt. Big off CK spell out at the front. That's pretty much it. I've only ever known Calvin Klein to make the underwear. I've never really put on a pair of Calvin Klein jeans, but you know, maybe that's my loss. Very wavy top, graphic is sick on the front. Come on fam. How can you afford not to have have one of these shirts. No fear t-shirt. So I've been seeing these pop up a lot in the charity shops. I think now that there's a nostalgia for the early 2000s, these are gonna be popping up a lot more on Depop pages and people are gonna want them because if you remember back in the day when you was a teenager, if you wore no fear, you was like still a neaky kid, but you had a little bit of flex. Telling everyone you went into Sports Direct that one time. And of course on the back, you've got a pair of scary eyes. Does not play well with others. Very passive aggressive. Next up, we've got that vintage Timberland t-shirt on the front. You've just got a tiny, tiny little Timberland logo, but on the back, 
all will be explained. There you go, Timberland, trees, you know, the trademarks. Authentic weather gear since 1978, just so you know that they're really about it, really about this heritage thing. If you glance at it super quickly, that kind of looks like the Disneyland castle, but it's just trees. Coincidence? I think not. But wait, you've got another vintage Bahamas t-shirt? I sure do, but the graphics like going a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, like I think someone must have dashed this in a washing machine at like 90 degrees because it's a bit cooked but it's still a wavy t-shirt single stitch so you know I had to cop I'd say it's still got a bit of life left in it my god where can you buy that you can buy that on this Depop page maybe and the last t-shirt of the day is this Alfie t-shirt that's pretty much it probably put it on the page for like a tenner nothing special but I thought it was a nice cop moving on we've got a nice short sleeve YSL shirt these have basically replaced Ralph Lauren shirts in my opinion like I don't ever pick up any little pony stuff anymore just because you can get them from literally anywhere and the market is so saturated but YSL shirts that's what you should really be picking up tiny YSL logo at the front that's pretty much it it's that office workwear blue as well so maybe you can wear it for like casual Fridays I don't I, I don't know I don't work in an office and because we're on the borderline of winter to spring it's still fleece season so why not cop a fleece umbro jumper tiny umbro graphic at the front little one at the back there as well actually you can't see that little one at the back there as well color is navy join the navy that's pretty much it it's very low-key and keeping it in theme with low-key fleeces what about this low-key a less fleece with a little bit more of a high neck just in case you want to hide that butter's neck of yours remember that time you did a video with a giant hickey on your neck never again could have been wearing this low-key a less graphic at the front tiny one at the back of the neck there where were you when i needed you the most next up we've got that vintage hill figure athletics vintage jumper we've got that academy font at the front there just to let everyone know that you've graduated from hill figure university can you imagine it's got the waviest little vintage tag there as well you don't see a lot of hill figure athletic stuff anymore really so i thought it was a decent interesting cop next up we've got that vintage nike jacket how do you know it's vintage it looks like every other nike jacket i've ever seen well let me tell you behold the glorious vintage nike tag in all of its glory circa 90 <laughs> dusty circa 90s or early 2000s got a little stamp on the sleeve there you've got the nike on the side there I dropped it and on the back there as well. Low key, but you know it's wavy. And the last clothing item that I've got to show you is something a little bit unusual. We've got a vintage The Mirror magazine hoodie. It says The Mirror Mag on there as well. But if you feel the front print is a little bit too small, we'll just look at the back where they've kindly maximized that image. Big M on the back just to assert their dominance. But how do you know it's vintage? Boom, look at that tag. Screen stars by Fruit of the Loom. Automatic vintage say no more and that was a pretty quick vintage haul not gonna lie what else did we get a vintage 90s simpsons chess set i used to have one of these as a kid like i used to play chess all of the time lost 90 percent of the time because i was just like a dumb little eight year old look at that absolute waviness do you want to see what's inside simpsons chessboard foldable for your convenience but just look at these individual pieces. So here's the entire set. You've got Bart as a little pawn, Maggie as a knight, Lisa as the bishop, Abraham Simpson as the rook, Marge Simpson as the queen, and Homer Simpson as the jolly fat king who can only move one space at a time. Yeah, I know chess. Fam. That's a wavy chess set. How are you going to top that? Well, I'm going to top that with my last item of the day, a vintage Nike's Court Challenger gym bag. Got this from a charity shop for like five pounds. These can go anywhere between like 50 to 100 as well. This one's a little bit beaten. I think someone actually like used this someone actually used a gym bag for gym stuff sacrilege say no more so there's a lot to this bag you've got the court challenger design on one side it's a little bit beaten a little bit scuffed there's a little bit of a you know floor going on here on the other side you've got that nike stamp that nike logo and another court challenger graphic on the side of the bag 
and that's pretty much it it's got like a couple of like small holes in it so it might need a little bit of repair if you're thinking of copying but it's a really cool wavy gym bag and it's literally the size of me so and those were today's thrift pickups and slaps so today's thrift haul was a little bit light it could be because of the school holidays a lot of people are going to charity shops more people aren't donating as much it could even have something to do with coronavirus you know it's affecting everything else in the country so let me know in the comment section down below what you've been thrifting lately have you got any good pickups did you manage to pick up a grail what's been going on also let me know which one of these vintage finds was your favorite for me i definitely love the simpson chess set that i picked up and the michael jackson t-shirt any trip to the thrift i do people just call it like a 10 minute depop advertisement and it kind of is but at the same time i want to share my loot with you at a reasonable price so i've got my depop link in the description down below as well and that's where i'm gonna end today's video so if you like this video then give it a like if you dislike this video then give it a dislike if you want to support me and the channel then press the little subscribe button it really does help and the little bell notification if you want to get notified when i upload a new video thank you for watching my video you guys are the best bye